guest tonight. My first guest tonight is a big time movie star. He's starring in the new film, The Women in Black, which is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> I think we have to take a commercial break. <laughs> Please welcome Daniel Radcliffe, everybody. Daniel Radcliffe. Keep it down, okay, keep it down, or ten points off Gryffindor. There you go. <laughs> How are you? This looks terrifying. It this is. Film. It is actually very scary. Yeah. Yes. And I was. I, I. You know. It's. A, it's a scary movie. It's very, very frightening. People are jumping up and down. It's great when you go to the. I'm about to go to a screening of it, and I'm just going to pick the the frailest looking child and watch them freak for the. Hour wait, and wait, hour. wait, wait! You can't have frail children. No, at they're screenings not. They're of... not. They're not young, young children. But you know, around you know, 13, 14, they, they can get pretty freaked out, and it's. Is that? Is it a PG-13? Amazingly enough, wow. it is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, I it's it, it's a 12A in England, which means if you're under 12, you can you can you go can with take alcohol exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but uh, you know, I I think 12 is kind of the limit. If your kid's under 12, then don't. Then don't. Just yeah, don't, because yeah, no. you, you're setting yourself up for a few horrible nights. Um, <laughs> well, that happens when your kids are under 12, anyway. I, right. I have two kids under 12. I had a pretty bad night last night. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, the yeah. night going to be like? Well, I don't know. They're very inconsistent children. Yeah. Uh, it is like having a tiny drunk friend around. Yeah, really, yeah. 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 I feel like it's true. They're, yeah. just, they're so unreasonable. Yes. <clears throat> and there's also you don't have any children yet, do you? No, not yet. Do you plan on having how many? Uh, I, I'd like a small army of children. Yeah. Just, I think that's the way to go. And yeah. have them young. Yeah, I'm, no, I want to. See, I yeah, made definitely. the mistake. I, didn't, I had my children, uh, you know, when I'm older, and now when they want to do things, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Have them now. No, oh, you're young and crazy. Now. Not yeah. quite now, but in a few, you know, a few years' time. No, now, Dad. Okay, no, I'll, have them now. I'll try. Is it, you know, anybody fancy it? No! <laughs> Thank you. I warned you! <laughs> I've, now, this is quite interesting. I'm very happy to meet I feel like I've watched you grow up. I'm sure everyone oh. must say that to you all the time. I think, of course, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's a very, you know, it's weird because I don't feel like I've grown up on film. People always say, if you've grown up on film, and it's like, I, I don't feel that way, because all the private moments of adolescence and all that Ooh, stuff... Oh, hello. You know, yeah. but, no, but, you know, they're both the scandalous ones and the not-so-interesting ones, but all those yeah. moments of, of, you know, of, of growing up... Yeah. Oh, well, I know what you're camera. talking about. Okay. All right. Okay. So angry. No, I know. I, I, I am. I am. I'm very angry. I don't know why. But um, but uh, I've no idea what I was talking about. No, it's all right. Fine. This is, this, this is the first big film since the Harry since, Potter. Since film, finishing, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's my first movie since since finishing the the films, and um, yeah, it's kind of. I've never really been uh, like nervous about a film coming out before because Potter's got such a huge. Yeah, it's not like well, I wonder how it's going to do. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, was, it was kind of a matter of how big it was going to be, and, right. and with this, you know, it's 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 interesting. It's 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 a lot of fun. Though, you know, and I'm running around meeting people. And I get to come here. It's my, I think this is like. I think no, we this is out. not a sign that your career's doing well when you're here. Really? Oh. No, this is like, oh, oh. well. Oh. I've just got into the bargain. No, no. no. You, well, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, you're, you're kind of the two dollar bin now. Right. But, Oh, it, nice. it, it, it's all right. It's all right. Are you having a nice time in Los Angeles? I am. It's like my. It's. Like, I think we worked out today. It's. I think the thirteenth day I've spent here in my entire life. Really? It's, I've spent almost no time here at all. Um, well, you should spend more time. I'm sure there's plenty of people that'd be happy to show you around. Oh uh, well. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe some crazy girls could show you. Around. <laughs> That is the way to see a city. What, with crazy girls? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Where have you... You must have gone to some exciting places during the Potter years. Where's your favourite place? Uh, well, look, the, the, the maddest place was Tokyo. Was, Tokyo, was really? I've never been to Tokyo. It's crazy. You'd, you'd, be, like, you'd be like Godzilla. I'd there. be like, oh! <laughs> Great <laughs> no, yeah, it would. Yeah, uh, but it, but they, you know, they're 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 uh, you know, an amazing people who just embrace. They don't just like, you know, certain sections of society get into stuff, uh, right. you know, over here and in England. And, but there, it's like they embrace something as a nation. You know, they they right. all just love it. So when I got to the, I arrived at the airport. 
Uh, and I was 13, and there were 5,000 people waiting in the arrivals lounge. I'm and surprised you're terrifying. not more... Uh, you, you know, shouldn't you be crazier? That's, that's, that is always what people say after I tell that story. Yeah, I mean, really, at thir I mean, all of that attention on such a young man, I... I, I I don't know. I mean, you know, I've always had the ability to laugh at it and see that it's not real and it's just funny. Mm. Like, it's still, it's, you know, because it, it's not. I mean, you know, I, it, it wasn't, it, it's not about me. It's particularly at that very early stage. Right. It wasn't about me. It was whoever about, played about that. You now, though, in the, in the horror movie, well, when you're taking the yeah. wallpaper off and then ghosts and bag it. You know yeah, what I mean? no, it is. Yeah, I mean, I, there is, there is like, there's a 20 minute section of this film where it's just me walking around the house alone. Um, there's no one Whoa. else, and it's, it's really? yeah, and it's yeah. You wearing pants? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's not. It's not shame. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, not yet. Oh. I, um, I, 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 I've heard oh, about man. it. Oh man, that, that it's, guy has vast, but he's such a tiny penis. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why I doubt that, but I doubt that. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, 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 I saw it and I went, okay, yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah. Would you ever do nudity? Don't dude, look, shut dude, up, dude, all right? dude, 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 I have. Oh, yeah, I have. you did on stage? Yeah, 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 yeah. it was a ten-minute nude scene. Right, with yeah. The blue, yeah, I forgot yeah. I have that yeah, on tape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, well, you know, it was, I was, I was, I was uh, 17 when I did that first, so you don't want people to know about that. No, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that legal? Can you do that? In, it, well, it was in England. When I did it in England, oh, right. you know, the age of consent is, is 16. So. so you can be naked on stage at 17 in England? If you're stupid enough, yeah. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> people are heathens. I know. <laughs> We have to uh, take a commercial break. It's something, oh. something you'll get used to in America. Okay. Yeah, there is yeah. a lot of them. It's not the BBC, is it? No, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's CBS. It's the yeah. Tiffany Network. I'm not sure I entirely get that. I mean, the network was named after a stripper called Tiffany. <laughs> but it's called CBS. <laughs> yeah, ten points off Griffin. <laughs> I'm, I'm spoken for. Yeah, I know. I, I wasn't hitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great moment. Yeah, you come, come back, back and go, I was spoken for and I'm like, no, 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 I wasn't hitting on him. <laughs> I was hitting on him. Yeah, it was. No, I wasn't. I, we were just talking about stuff. None of your business, all right? Anyway, so... You don't have to hear everything. Yep. Actually, they do. Oh, okay. That way they can. So, uh, we're out of time. What? Yeah, yeah. What happens is, when we come back for the second bit, I say we're out of time because it takes me so long to wrap the okay. up oh, okay. that we might as well get started with the out of time thing now because it's going to take a while. Good. We're Good. out of time. Good. So, okay. here's your options for wrapping this thing up. Okay. You can either take an awkward pause, right. you can do a mouth organ. Oh, okay. Go on. Or you can go for the big cash prize. I think I'll take the big cash prize. Ooh, okay. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. Here's what okay. we're gonna do. You're, no, don't touch, don't touch the money until you've earned the money. I wanted to see if it's real. I'm gonna check it's your It's real. Look, it's real. Look, look, smell it. Yeah. That yeah. smells like money. Yes, it is. Now, um, two ways to win. It's 50 American dollars in singles to use at any strip club in the United States. Fabulous. Um, <laughs> the, uh, it was a very nice one next to our theater. Which theatre? Oh, the, the, the Al Hirschfeld when I was in New York. Uh, was, what was the... What was I, the I, I have to say at this point, I've never been, but many of our ensemble was private eyes. I just can't believe I'm just giving a shout-out to a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't imagine I'd do that. Hey. Your publicist will be pleased. <laughs> Delighted, yes. The studio's going to be happy. <laughs> Uh, that's Studio CBS too, so they can... Are they, is it CBS? It's CBS Films. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, that explains why you're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. They must have just forced you into it. No, dude, I've been wanting to come on this show for ages. Don't ever call me dude. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, uh... <laughs> uh... 
That uh, was great right until there. And then, uh... <laughs> All right, so there's two ways to win. Now, two okay. ways to win. You can either uh, answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. It's a little more complicated. What happens is I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in the box. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. Okay. You uh, then guess what's in the box. If you're right, Jeff will say, yes, you're right. And if you're wrong, then you pay a forfeit. I kind of want to do both. Right. Uh, can we'll we try and accommodate you Can we do that? And then, and then, I want the question, but I also like the idea of guessing what's in your head. Because <laughs> I think that could be interesting. <laughs> Jeff, uh, do we have any uh, protocol for this? No. <laughs> It's good to see that Jeff does an Alan Rickman impression. Yeah, he does. Do a very, yeah, he, I, he's clearly been waiting to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Since you got out here, I think. Is that true, Jeff? Yes, I have, dude. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, all right. Well, okay, we'll do, we'll do both. Well, we'll it's do up this. to you, and you can well, cut, no, the, no, no. cut the unfunny one. <laughs> <laughs> if we cut the unfunny right. the show, there'd be no show. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here's how we do it. Uh, all right. You're going to answer the question and guess what's in my box at the same time. Okay. All right. Here's the question. We'll begin with that. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Yes, it is. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. What's in my box? <laughs> um. okay. I don't know what's in it. I'm We're just imagining it. Okay, so you're imagining a box. I am now imagining a box as well. Can you tell me how big the box is? Because you can see the box. All right, I can see the box. The box is about the size of a, of a bread bin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, there's a really obvious answer that's come into my head. Is I it? <laughs> is it bread? <laughs> is, is there bread in your box? <laughs> uh, well, I can't tell you because I don't know. We'll have to ask Jeffrey Peterson, what is in my box? We would have accepted Tiffany. Oh. But the answer is bread. Bre yeah! My first guest tonight, delightful young man, a terrific movie star. His latest movie, What If, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. Daniel Radcliffe, everybody. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. To see you. Very nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. You've had your hair done. I have. Well, it looks yes. different. It's wispy. Oh, good. In a, in a good wispy yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. It looks great. Yeah, like yeah. this is coming from like a stroll along some sort of windy beach. Or maybe perhaps arrived by yacht. Yes, yeah. Let's go with that. All right, right. Are you nautical in any way? Um, no. No, I'm not. I, I would. I, I think I'd be the kind of person that would be terrible on a boat. Oh. I'd just be getting in the way, I'd, you know, rig something wrong. I'd be oh, no, no, sea. you'd be a very valuable member of the crew. Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. Do you have a boat I can work on? Yes, I <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I was down in uh, Comic-Con uh, some time ago, and... Uh, <laughs> You, you were there too, weren't you? I was indeed. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a, I, I imagine it's a different experience for you than it is for me. Well, I, I've never been before, and I've always I've heard so much about it. That I really wanted to go, and I, I wanted to get on the floor, so I did what like loads of actors I think have done and put on a costume. Yes, I, I was Spider Man this year, which is just uh, for legal reasons. I don't think you were allowed to actually be Spider Man. Um, uh, well, I don't know. That's I, crossing the streams, was... man. Harry Potter and Spider Man. That's yeah. like what? One w one massive franchise is not enough. Well, I guess <laughs> you can get your own boat. No. Yeah. <laughs> so did anyone recognize you? Um, no, not at all. I went around the whole time just like taking pictures with people uh, as Spider-Man because kids want pictures with Spider-Man and, um, and just like went around and... So yeah, the, the Spider-Man on Hollywood Boulevard, is that you? I don't, I don't want my cover to be blown right. on national television. You don't want what? I don't want my cover to be blown. Oh, oh right, okay. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> okay, man, whatever. I mean... I thought that's why you get into show business, but, uh... 
So what's the film looks good? That, that you. dude it's you're acting with, he's, Adam, he's awesome. Yeah, he's yeah. good actor. Huh? He's a really good. Yeah, actor. I've seen Star him Wars. in uh, Girls. Yes, he's yeah. Star Wars as well. He's going to be in the new Star Wars movie. Is he? Yeah, he's. Oh, gonna be. I don't know what he's doing. Them, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's freakishly tall as well. When I'm also freakishly short, so not really. Yeah. Not really. I mean, not freakishly short, but I we, we do have kind of immediate. Like it's just funny to even look at us. You don't even need. You didn't even need to roll a clip. You could have just had a still photo. Of I think. I wish I'd just <laughs> run a still photograph during the monologue. To be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Hey, uh, it looks like Toronto. Was it Toronto? Toronto, yeah. Uh, Toronto for Toronto. Toronto or Toronto? No, it... Toronto as Toronto. Oh, yeah. that's unusual. It is unusual. Yeah, yeah. Because... Usually it's Toronto as Westeros or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or New York or somewhere. And I think like the people of Toronto, the Toronto. The Torontonians. Tor Torontovanians? Yes, Torontovanians. yes, the Torontettes. Um, yeah. They, are, they, they are, you know, seem to love the film and like, are delighted by the fact that it actually shows Toronto as like, a romantic, cool, fun city. It's well, a romantic comedy? It is a romantic comedy, oh, yeah. Oh, as, uh, do you go ice skating in it? We do not, oh. no. But actually, you know what? Actually, you know that, um, we, you know that montage that's in every romantic comedy? Where yeah, the yeah. couple is getting to know each other. And they, right, they getting go, to know each yeah, other. Exactly. Things are working. Yeah, out. we're yeah, walking yeah, down, yeah. fin ducks and stuff. And yeah. then they, but in our movie, is basically the because they don't actually want to deal with those scenes, so they just put it in a montage. And our movie is like that montage expanded. It's just two people getting to know each other, sort of taking the piss out of each other. So like, you feed the flirting. ducks over a long period of yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's an hour and a half of me and Zoe Kazan throwing bread into a lake. I think it, it. it'll do. <laughs> it'll do very well on the festival circuit. I think. I think so. That's what I'm hoping. That's good, yeah. Did you enjoy your time in Canada? I did, yeah. I had a lot of poutine, which is like... Uh, oh, yes, yeah, 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 no. I... <laughs> I'm walking into this now. No, <laughs> I just, I thought, I thought it was something else. I remember now it's fries it's with fries gravy. It's fries with gravy and cheese. I thought you meant bacon. something else in time. Yeah, I know. Um... Well, I'm sure you had plenty of that, too. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, so I did a lot of that and, and watched You can't do that, you'll, you'll get fast. <laughs> you have to stay thin for no, yeah, acting. I'm like, I'm, yeah, but you don't have to be thin to act. Uh, I beg to differ. Um, but, well, know, actually... Got, I'm just like using my, you know, I'm, I'm 25, so I'll just, I'm gonna like... As, soon as, as long as I've got this metabolism, I'll just keep using yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. But see, what happens, well, yeah. though, is that you get to 30 and suddenly... So it's like you're a life raft and someone pulls the ripcord. You just yeah. you go... <laughs> I, it's it's horrifying, man. I mean, and it just keeps happening. I walk by a donut, I gain four pounds. <laughs> I do think, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm, I definitely. Like, I have a terrible diet, and I've always had like a pretty not terrible, but just there's no variety. I, I'm essentially. Well, you you is that you grew up pretty much on a movie set, right? So, yeah. I mean, it's always craft I services. I won't blame that though. To be fair, like it was my own choice to have a crappy diet. Oh, um, really? like, I really, like, I you know, you're never gonna really get on Oprah if you keep taking responsibility <laughs> for your actions like that. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe you know we'll be sitting here in five years' time, and I'll be, I'll be. Oh, dude, we won't be sitting here in five oh, years' time. <laughs> Well, we, we, I, I we'll be sitting somewhere, but it's not going to be here. And I'll be the size of this chair. Well, uh, I, I think maybe a bigger chair. I look forward to it. Well, me too. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, I, are you going back to Blighty then? Is that where you're living I'm, now? I'm going off. I'm staying mainly there and uh, a bit in time in New York. And I'm, oh, at the moment, I'm on just one of these press tours. So, here and then I go to Mexico tomorrow. Which Mexico? I've never been to Mexico never before. Been, well, I've been, to, I've been to Tijuana. Well, that okay. doesn't really... Is that not Mexico? Yeah, it, it's Mexico, but I imagine most Mexicans would consider it a very specific part of Mexico. And there are other parts that they would perhaps want you to see too. Okay, uh, I'm going to Mexico City. Mexico you... City, I've heard, is very beautiful. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm excited to go. Yeah, there. yeah. Are you, uh, are you going to be walking around? I, I expect so at times. Dressed as Spider Man? Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's, the, that's the thing about Comic Con. Although, like, the other night I can do that is, is Halloween, when, like in New York, when everyone's just in masks and you're not. It's, it's nice to just wear a mask and be able to go out and like interact without being a famous person kind of getting in the way and changing how people... Does that, uh, does, does that happen to you a lot? Do you get hassled a great deal with yeah, it? Yeah, but I'm not even talking about like people coming up to you. It's just like you, you can't meet someone without it somehow changing the situation or you never know what it would be, you know, it's just, it's a different thing. Yeah, so but it's, it's, quite nice but it's been like, your life your whole yeah, life, it so it's you, not... You sort, of, you sort of grow up with it and I think... In many ways, it's easier starting young because you kind of adjust to it. I would imagine, yeah. I mean, and especially like, if it's like within a good environment, like Potter was, and I got, you know, I'm lucky. I've got good parents. So. Yeah, and, and I mean, you seem cool. I got a lot of people here are, you know, very famous. They're not cool. Yeah. You know who I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, there, there, you know. there is a shocking amount of it. But I, I maintain that those people were that way before they got famous. Yeah, I think that's but true. I, think I think that because like, I've also met really famous people who are lovely. Yes, and great, also true. And, yeah, and, and, and that, so it is. You're just. It's you're just a that, of, yeah. Yeah, it's just that like if if your plumbers are douche, you don't really tell. 
nail anybody. Right, yeah. You know, it's yeah, like, exactly. guess who I met who's a douche? The plumber. Yeah. People are like, oh, no, right. I don't care yeah. about your plumber, really. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's, 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 uh, it's more, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what next? Well, commercials, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. and, then, and then more talking about our fabulous lives. Yeah, pretty great. <laughs> pretty great. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Nothing. Back to show business conversation, yeah. Daniel. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I hear you bought a house. Um, no, you know. <laughs> but a good try. I, I was just doing that yeah. show, but you know the talk show <laughs> thing. So you bought a house, <laughs> hey? Oh. Um, yeah. Try another one out. I'll see what I. All right. Uh, <laughs> what about? Um, so you've just been on vacation. Yeah. Why not? I had a weekend off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah really? Where, where did you go for the weekend? I was here. I, I, I went here, and now I'm still here. You like LA? I don't know it really. It's very spread out. No one out. really does. It's very, very spread it's out. It's very yeah. hard to, you know, sort of get anywhere. And there, there is never anybody walking around, which I know is a thing everyone says about LA, and you all live here, so it's very boring. They, none of these people live here. No? No. No, right. no um, they all live in, in some world inside their head. <laughs> There. Yeah, no, so I. Uh, hey, have you ever been down to uh, uh, the Hogwarts at Disneyland? I have actually. Yeah. It's awesome, isn't it's it? It's really good. I know! Apart, like, it's 100% accurate, apart from like the snow in the 90 degree heat. Yeah, yeah, like, that's bad. That, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I was, because I was uh, working. Quite, the... Like, I find watching the hologram of myself quite frightening. Because yeah. I do appear there in hologram form, and several of my friends have been and told me they're a bit creeped out by it. But, um, but it's. But it is. I have a hologram of you in my house. Do you? <laughs> See, Does that excite you? I would have thought. <laughs> I would have thought I would have had to be consulted somewhere along the line. To oh, I think you were consulted oh, okay. somewhere. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be enough, like something you signed at some point. Was that one of the things I signed just now? Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. Yeah, you agreed to appear in the show. You, what did they pay you? Like uh, four hundred bucks? Or I don't know. I didn't look. I think I it is. Exactly, is it? Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Four hundred bucks. Yeah. Cheers, dude. <laughs> Get yourself something pretty. Go yeah. Towards, uh, goes, goes towards the boat. Yeah, it goes towards the boat. Yeah. Have you got a boat? No, I don't have a boat. I don't have a car. You, you, you don't have a car? No. Wait, I don't drive. Wait, I don't. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm sure it's a perfectly good explanation. <laughs> I live, like, well, I live in New York and no one, well, someone I live in New York, no one really drives. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, well, you're 25, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't uh, sit my driver's test till I was 27. Right, and that gives me a lot of hope, because yeah. I do want to do it. I had to drive, I had to drive a car um, in this film I did called Horns, and there was this great moment that could, like, only happen in the film industry, where I had to, the scene was, I had to drive up and uh, get out the car and walk over to this, uh, this parked police car, and I had a snake around my neck the whole time, like a six-foot, like, python. And I, and I, and I drive, you'll see, you'll understand when you see Oh, oh okay, okay. Um, <laughs> and so I, uh, the, the guy who handled the snakes normally couldn't be in the back of the car, and so the, one of our props. Oh, he was unavailable? Oh, no, he actually, he actually, he actually had a wooden leg. I um, see. So he couldn't get in the back of the car. Um, so, so, sorry. Um, <laughs> So that's why. So yeah. yeah, I've got you into the story now. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. So, yeah. um, and then the uh, the Corey who was in there in the back with me, like holding the python, worked in props, and I uh, I felt like I should tell him that I didn't have a driver's license before I drove him in this car. So I just before we started, I was like, Corey, I'm really sorry, man. Just so you know, like, I don't have a license. I don't really know how to drive. Like I've taken a couple of lessons, but I'm sure we'll be all right. Like it's all right. And he said, Ah, it's fine. I've never handled snakes before. <laughs> Which is just, like a lovely. It's one of those situations that can only be allowed to happen when money's yeah. being thrown at it. You know, it's kind of great. It's an excellent story. Good, thank you. It involves a snake and, and you know... And All the best stories do. Yeah, absolutely. Daniel, we're out of time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, it's not your fault. No? No. No, time just keeps going. No matter what you do? No matter what I do. No matter what anybody does. <laughs> Dave Radcliffe, everybody, we're wherever. <laughs>